often say she's an ageless wonder. Her lustful life makes this lady tick. When a young man looks at Madam, she just throws herself right at him. She's young at heart and still getting her kick. And that man plays, she's a prime time queen. She throws her stuff on a TV screen. Her outrageous charm fills this funny box that we call and play. Tony Tessier, my producer for only one day, we still keep in touch. He even sent me a letter by special messenger. Isn't she wonderful, folks? Give her a great big hand. <laughs> my God, this isn't a letter, it's a subpoena. That sleazeball was suing me for every penny I'm worth. Since this suit was so important, I chose as my lawyer one of the sharpest legal minds in the country. Mr. Huntington Phelps. And so, Your Honor, I shall prove that this hearing is an attempt on the part of an opportunist to make a profit from the long, hard, honest labor of my client. Phelps was brilliant, but I did have an inkling that the judge may have been a tiny bit biased. What we have here is a golden opportunity to dig deep inside the maggot-infested inner workings of that segment of society known as show business. <laughs> I don't like to say we're being railroaded, but I think we just got it in the cup. <laughs> No, no, Rocky, it just isn't right for me to cheat on Warren. No. Oh, what the hell? Go ahead. Good morning, oh. madam. It's time for you to get up. <laughs> oh, why, 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 why? Oh, Bernie, you interrupted the most beautiful moment I've had since I flew the jet stream in our jacuzzi all the way to Paris for an eight-day weekend. Oh, well, I think you should know that the media is making you out to be the villain for firing Tony Tessier. Listen to this. What? Looks like Madame made a real big boo-boo by firing her producer of One Day, the Canadian whiz kid, Tony Tessier, and rehiring her old producer, Barney Wolf. Not only is her show bound to suffer, but insiders report that the nation's oldest talk show host is being sued for an amount well into seven figures. My God, who wrote that? Brenda Backbiter. Oh, and she calls me old? Why, she's the one who panned Romeo and Juliet when it first opened. <laughs> Do you think you should settle with this Tony Tessier out of court? Heck no! I'll never pay a man for taking advantage of me! <laughs> oh, Lord, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> oh, now I know I'm sick. <laughs> Her panties fell off and hit the floor as if they were three sizes too big. <laughs> Bernadette! Get that phone! I am not taking any more calls today. I'm just too nervous about the trial to talk to anyone. I need complete silence so I can practice that meditation Solaria taught me. Now, what was it? She said, now fold your arms and go, pa, pa, um, mau, mau. Um, mau, mau. Better already. What, what the hell is this? Oh, there it is. <laughs> you look cute, Auntie Madam. What's going on here? I have somebody I want you to meet. He was performing on the street. I told you in situations like that, you avert your eyes and call the moral squad. 
This is Marsh the Magnificent. Wouldn't he be great on your show? He taught me how to juggle size. Whew, and I always thought you were born that way. <laughs> you see, madam, the juggling is as difficult as a myth. I can teach anybody in minutes. And it's loaded with great exercise. First, uh, let's watch Sarah Joy do what she learned on the street, okay? okay. Oh. You ready? Okay, up, up, okay. up, 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 Good. up. Good. Keep them bouncing, keep them bouncing. Good, nice curves, up, up, nice up. curves. Ooh, perfect shape. Up, up, perfect, up. perfect, perfect. How about it, madam? Give it a try. Oh, well, I'm not really good at, uh... Oh! oh. <laughs> That's the spirit, madam. You're natural. <laughs> Hello. It's Huntington's Belts, madam. Oh, yes. Yeah. Show me. Oh, God bless you, madam. You never seem to age. I'm over here, honey. Come on, Marsh. Let's go practice. Who's the boy in his underwear? Oh, am I going to have to get you out of another jam? Oh, no, honey. Settle down. He's a juggler. Well, he'd have to be to satisfy you. <laughs> you little devil. Well, Van Gilder tells me you have important news. Is the war over? Uh, yes. And it's a boy. I'm a father. Oh, honey, for gosh sakes, your son is 57 years old. Maybe that's why he got so mad at me Tuesday night when I tried to die for him. Oh, think about it. Well... Hunty, do me a favor. Now look straight in my face. Mm. Nose, nose. Okay, all right? Earth to Hunty. Earth to Hunty. This is Madam on Earth. What do you want to talk to me about? Come in, Hunty. SCA's lawyer is willing to settle out of court. <gasps> Did I just say something? Of course. Settling now would be admitting I'm a sleazeball. Gesundheit. <laughs> His lawyer is a man named Antel, and I think it would be to your advantage if you were to meet with him. Oh, gosh, call me crazy, but I, I do trust your judgment, Hunty. If you want me to meet him, I'll meet him after my show tonight. Tell me, is this Antel character married? Of course I'm married. I have a 57-year-old mature baby boy. <laughs> Honey. Is, is there a men's room oh. in this airport? Um, <laughs> yes. Pinky, show Honey the restroom and make sure he unzips. And don't let him use the gas towel. Go right ahead. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Stuart. Yeah. Stuart. I don't know if I can do this or not. Uh, I'm the only star with an attorney named F. Lee Coma. <laughs> Hi, we're back. Well, my first guest is going to give us an exclusive intimate view of the greatest of all royal institutions, the British Royal Family. We are so privileged to have an inside, first-hand peek by such close and trusted member of the Queen's own staff. Please welcome the royal sleep attendant to Prince Charles and Princess Diana, Mrs. Maud Passwater. Thank you, Mrs. Maud. Oh, I love your outfit. Is that the way you dress in the uh, castle? I do every day. It looks like you got a quiche on your head. <laughs> You know, I'm dying to hear what's going on inside Buckingham Palace. Oh, well, I'm going to tell you. What about Prince Charles and Lady Di? And the royal baby? The royal baby has been stolen. You don't mean that. How can you prove that? Look, you see this picture of the baby? Mm hmm And the ears, you know, Prince Charles has those big fluffy ears. Yeah. Well, the baby's ears are much too little. Mm -hmm. And then another thing. No, no. Not too many people know about this. The royal spoons. Now, the royal spoons? See, these are the ones that they were born with in their mouths. This one is Elizabeth, and this one is Charles. Lord, they, they had loud mouths in they their big mouths. They had big mouths. <laughs> the royal family. I they have see. to talk a lot. And, you know, on, on special occasions, they play them like that. And, and they're not, you know, they're not. I talked to Nancy. I played them. 
she just up and down like that. Don't you feel better? Well, well I don't know. How was that again? Here, like your oriental acting press. Oh, yes. Well, do that on my nose one oh, time. Oh, very. Oh, yes. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look, I like that's that. Nice. Well, that'll you blow your sinuses out, won't it? Huh? <laughs> oh, well, anyway, I look for the royal spoon of that baby, and it is gone, stolen too, and... I, I now know, I know who the royal baby is. Well, who do you think? Well, I have been doing research and looking at pictures. The royal baby is none other than Howdy Doody. Oh, my lady, you really think so? Well, look, you see, it's got the same coloring as its mum and the same ears on it. But it's not the old Howdy Doody, see? What it is, is they wanted a replacement, like Lassie, you know? Mm -hmm. And they stole the baby to be the baby doody. A little baby Howdy Doody. A baby doody? That's right. Oh, I hate puppets. <laughs> well, 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 I guess I have to be going then. Well, thank you very much, Maud Passwater. Thank Let's you. hear it for Maudie. Thank you very much, darling. Thank howdy you. doody, baby <laughs> doody, I guess. Bye bye, darling. I haven't heard anything so juicy since Aldo Ray's head hit my pillow back in 1956. <laughs> oh, the spider lilies are in bloom again. I carried them on my wedding day, and now I place them at the site of my grave. Madam, <gasps> yes? this is Barnett Antel the Sixth. Oh, how do you do? I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Madam, this is truly a pleasure. Oh, what is oral? I'm Mr. Tessier's attorney, Barnett Antel the Sixth. Oh, something tells me this guy was never bar mitzvahed. Oh. Tell you how impressed I am with your exquisite taste. Well, wish I could say the same about your taste in client. <laughs> Did you know the Emperor Khan once sold his eldest daughter in exchange for a plate like this? Do tell. All I had to do was spend one night with the Emperor's jester, Chiang Kai Sheki. <laughs> Binky would simply die for a plate like this. No, really. And just what do the seven dwarves have to do with it? Binky happens to be my wife, and I don't like anyone to make fun of her. Well, somebody who calls herself Binky is asking for it now. <laughs> what are we talking about what we're here to talk about? Well, Mr. Tessier does not wish to cause you any embarrassment, but if the trial does proceed, he may be forced to introduce evidence which could be damaging to your character. Damaging to my character? Honey, you don't scare me. My character has already been damaged beyond repair. I have here, among the many pieces of evidence you might find very interesting, uh, a videotape. Hmm. Well, are you going to tell me what videotape you have, or are you going to be vague like every other lawyer on the face of this earth? I'm going to show it to you. Uh, you do have a videotape recorder, don't you? Yes. Uh, what size is it? Half inch. I meant the tape. <laughs> Follow me. Mm. My goodness, Auntie Madam, is that really you? You know, I should have taken off those high heels and the picture hat. I told the director. Believe me, neither I nor my client wish to have this tape made public. I have here in my Gucci settlement folder an offer to settle for five million dollars. Oh, really? Well, you may take your settlement and stick it as far up your Gucci holder as it will go and get out of my house. <laughs> See you Friday Ooh. in court. <laughs> Where is my attorney when I need him? <laughs> Hunty! Honey, you're my lawyer. Where have you been for the past four hours? We could have used your sharp legal mind. I've been going over my briefs. Oh, I bet you were. Good evening, ladies. Oh, isn't the ocean air lovely tonight? Is this your first crossing? Oh. <laughs> 
Bernadette, cancel my bookings between now and Friday. I don't want any calls or visitors. I have to help Huntington study this case. <laughs> It'll be a cold day in Piazzadora's lap before Tessier gets any money from me. <laughs> Pete, how long has Huntington been in the bathroom this time? Ah, uh, three hours, 19 minutes, and counting. <laughs> Every time that man looks in a mirror, he thinks he's at a party. Well, why don't you go try to flush him out, Bertie? <laughs> <laughs> Madam, you promised you'd let Morris audition today. Oh, uh, listen, darling, if I want to see juggling, I'll call my accountant. Uh, oh, come on, Madam, have you tried the routine I taught you this morning? Up, 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 up. up. Up, 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 I know my up. way, bailiff. Madam versus the United States Marine Corps over the rights to the phrase, we're looking for a few good men. Oh, I'm worried about Antel. We need a plan. I've got one. We land at Normandy at dawn. Oh, gosh. Earth to honey. Earth to honey. Come in, please. Uh, honey to madam. Come in, madam. Honey, I'm in big trouble. You're what in. should I do? You're in trouble? Oh, you should get a lawyer. Oh, I need a plan. A plan! <laughs> Eureka! An idea just hit me. Sir, are you all Anybody right? seen my glasses? <laughs> here they are. I come all the way down here for an audition. No one shows I don't know where they're... Where, where is everybody? Madam! Oh, I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to see you again. Oh, really? Look, the alligator's crawled off your shirt. <laughs> Just a joke. Almost gave you a whiplash, didn't I? <laughs> well, you've met Mr. Phelps, my attorney. Oh, yes. I can't tell you what an immense pleasure it is to have such a formidable adversary. Oh, cut the bull. We're not in court. You think I'm an old SOB and I think you're a young one. Show me the tape. Morris the Magnificent oh. is here for his audition. Sarah Joy, please, can't you see I'm in a meeting? Hey, folks, who wants to learn four-ball juggling? Oh. I do. There you go. Ready? Mm. Just do what I do. Say up when I say up. Up, 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 up. up I haven't up. seen up. such antics since I was a congressional page. <laughs> With a gleam in your eye of a man who always well. wanted to know how to juggle. Take that. Do what I do. Say what I say. Up, 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 now, where were we? Well, before we were interrupted by the Ringling Brothers, I was about to show the videotape to your attorney. Uh, well, it won't be necessary. I'm advising my client not to settle. What? This tape will ruin her. Oh, listen, Antel, blackmail is blackmail. You can cover it up with your phony country club accent and your fancy clothes, but it still stinks. I should have known what to expect from people outside the borders of Connecticut. Don't bother to show me out. I want to learn the way for when this house belongs to Mr. Tessier. Oh, really? Does this mean you and Binky won't be at the Stubbleware party? <laughs> Come on, did you get it? <laughs> Let me see it. Oh, oh. There it is, madam. Congratulations, Mr. Phelps. The plan worked. What plan was that? <laughs> <laughs> And so, Your Honor, we say that Mr. Tessier's case is a sham. And my client has filed a countersuit against him for defamation of character. I'm going to pick his bones so clean you'll be able to use them to make vegetable soup. Where is Mr. Tessier anyway? Oh, he's up in Canada shooting a soap opera called The Young and the Huskies. I think he's unqualified. Man, doesn't that judge look familiar? Mm. I don't remember no judge. Yes, do you think he worked by? For the moment, Your Honor. <clears throat> Counselor. Counselor. Your Honor. I would like to introduce as evidence a videotape which shows the sort of character which my client has had to deal with. Exhibit A, Your Honor. Uh -oh. Here it comes. <clears throat> Anyone in this room is squeamish. I suggest they leave. Order of the court. Are you mad?
may have won this round of cartoons, madam, but I have plenty more tricks up my sleeve. Oh, tap that beta green buster. <laughs> madam, I know you had something to do with this. I'm holding you in contempt of court. Judge, you cannot do this to me. You are looking at a veteran. I have entertained thousands of troops, one at a time, standing up in a foxhole. <laughs> I've visited more bases than penicillin. Court is adjourned. <gasps> Clear out of this courtroom, or you'll be looking at more bars than Hershey, Pennsylvania. You cannot do this to me. I won't let it be. You try to do this. Take it to a higher court. Relax. A higher court. Piggy, don't let them do this to me. I want to live. Oh, oh, I think I'm going to be very sick. Don't knock my hat off. So what are we going to do now, Auntie Madam? Mm. Well, I suggest we start by taking a last look at this place. Now, there must be something we can do. Hunty, you had a good plan and it almost worked. I know you must have another one up under that wrinkled sleeve of yours. <laughs> Here's what we can do. If they convict Madam of second-degree murder, we'll plead insanity and I'll have her out of that mental institution in five years with her slate wiped clean. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, madam, what are you doing? Oh, just thinking about Blanche Dubois, the last scene of Streetcar Named Desire. She was a client of mine. Oh, oh Humpty, I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. Mm, let's take one last look at Elysian Field. <laughs> in tomorrow's episode, Sarah Joy takes the witness stand in my behalf and gives some very revealing testimony. <laughs> <laughs>